so students you see question number three what have there are uh, 25 boys and 15 girls in a class find the ratio of the number of boys to that of girls so here we'll find the ratio of boys to that of girls okay so in the solution what will write uh, what given a uh, number of boys given what 25 okay so we'll write here number of number of boys what 25 right and then number of girls how much will write equal to sign number of girls equal to 15 okay so this one given in the question so we need to find the uh, ratio of number of boys to that of girls so here we will write ratio of boys to that of girls so first uh, first what have boys and then girls so uh, first what have uh, boys what 25 and then girls 15 okay so boys to the girls so first you write boys and then girls so here 25 is to 15 then equal to sign will give and therefore uh, okay and here equal to sign will give and 25 will write in numerator okay and 15 will write in denominator okay first uh, and then we'll cut this uh, numerator and denominator by 5 if i cut by 5 then there will be 5 5 5 to 25 and there will be in denominator 5 3 15 okay so numerator is what 5 and denominator is what 3 okay and then uh, now it will be uh, 5 is to 3. First numerator will write in first and denominator will write in second. So 5 is to 3. So this is the ratio of the uh, uh, number of boys to that of girls. Okay. Understood. So we will see the next question. Question number 4. Here what if the monthly salary of a person. So a person whose monthly salary is rupees what? 1050 and his expenses that means his expense is what uh, rupees uh, 910 and find the ratio number a what have his salary to his expenses and his salary to his saving and his expenses to his savings so saving uh, there your uh, salary is given and expenses given saving not given so we'll find the first saving okay so if we uh, subtract from this from his salary to his expenses then we'll get the saving right so given We'll write here first given uh, his salary is what monthly salary so we'll write here monthly salary monthly salary is rupees 1050 right rupees 1050 okay and his monthly expenses what <laughs> rupees uh, 910 this one given in the question okay now we need to find the uh, saving because saving is not given in the question so saving will be what and here we'll write monthly saving equal to uh, from his salary if i subtract from his salary to his expenses then we'll get the saving so here salary is what 10000 uh, sorry 1050 and his saving is, his expense is what 910 okay so if i subtract from this uh, then we'll get 4 rupees so 0 minus 0 0 and there 5 uh, minus 1 4 and 10 minus 9 is 1 so 144 okay so there will be uh, 0 and there 1 and 10 minus 1 is 140 okay so 140 is his uh, monthly saving right so according to question number one what have find the ratio of his salary to his savings so here we'll write uh, according to question a so ratio of salary uh, to his savings so ratio of salary to his saving uh, 
salary to is sorry salary to is expenses number one what salary to is expenses expenses what rupees uh, salary was 10000 uh, 1050 and his expenses was uh, 920 so we'll write here in the ratio form so rupees 1050 is to rupees 910 okay then here we'll give equal to sign okay and then first uh, salary is what uh, this one will write in numerator 1050 okay and this uh, second one will write in denominator so 910 okay and uh, this zero and this zero will cancel out and then if we cut this one by 7 then there will be 13 the both numerator and denominator will cut by 7 okay because 7 15 what 1 105 so numerator is what 15 and denominator is 13 so ratio will be 15 is to 13 so numerator will write first and denominator will second then 15 is to 13 so this is the ratio of salary to his expenses okay now we'll see question number uh, for uh, question number b so this question number b what have you see his salary to his saving now we need to find the ratio of salary to his saving so here we'll write number b ratio ratio of salary to his saving so his first salary is what rupees 1050 right and we'll give is to sign because this is to sign uh, this symbol is denoted ratio right so here 140 and saving is what 140 okay and here we'll give equal to sign and rupees uh, numerator will write 1050 okay and denominator will write 140 right so now we'll cut uh, this zero uh, this zero and denominator zero okay now if i cut by 7 then there will be uh, 2 7 to 14 and if you cut by 7 there will be 15 7 15 to 105 okay so 15 by 2 so ratio will be 15 is to 2 okay so both the numerator and numerator cut by what 7 right so here answer is 15 is to 2 so uh, number b finished now number c his expenses to his uh, saving so here will number c will write ratio of expenses to his saving <coughs> saving uh, so his expenses is rupees 910 right so we'll give ratio symbol because according to question ratio you need to find so ratio symbol and rupees uh, saving is what 140 okay and then we'll give equal to sign in next line so in numerator what will write 910 because first uh, expense is 910 and saving is what 14 sorry 140 so now 0 0 will cancel out okay so then if we cut by 7 then there will be 2 uh, 7 to the 14 and if i cut this 19 91 by 7 then 13 so their numerator is 13 and denominator is what 2 okay so answer will be 13 is 2 2 so according to question uh, answer came right 13 is to 2 A ratio of expenses to is saving 13 is to 2 now next question number 5 out of 144 teachers in a school 56 are males and remaining are females okay so in a school there are 144 total teacher of uh, 144 and out of these 56 are male teacher and uh, remaining are female teachers so Female teacher is not given there. Okay, so in, from there we'll find the female teachers. So according to code, males to the females and total number of teachers to that of females and males that to total number of teachers. We need to find the ratios of this. So in the solution, we'll write first given. So number of uh, total number of teachers how much? We'll write here. Uh, total number of teachers uh, 
in a school how much uh, equal to uh, 144 right and then we will uh, write here because this one given in the question number of male teachers number of male teachers okay so male teacher how much uh, rupees uh, sorry uh, male teachers 56 right so here uh, female teacher is not given so we'll find out a female teacher number of female teacher if i subtract from total teacher to the number of male teacher then we'll get what uh, female teacher right so number of female teachers female teachers equal to equal to we'll give 144 minus uh, this 140 is not total number of teacher and 56 is what number of female teacher then we'll subtract then we'll get the number of female teacher so male is 56 okay so female teacher will be uh, what 88 if you subtract 144 to minus 56 then you will get uh, what 14 minus 6 8 and there remain what 13 13 minus 5 is what 8 so total number of teacher uh, total number of female teacher is what 88 okay so now see question number one uh, a 5a male to that of female so you need to find the ratio of males to that of that of females so here we will write ratio of number A, ratio of males to that of females, okay, uh, ratio of females what, uh, so male teacher how much given, 56, right? So we'll write first 56 here and uh, second is what female teacher 88 so equal to sign will give next line so uh, this 56 will write in numerator and 88 will write 88 will write in denominator okay now we'll cut this uh, by 8 if I cut this denominator by 8 then 8 elements are what 88 numerator also you will cut by 8 because both uh, denominator and numerator we can cut by 8 okay so 11 8 88 and 11 uh, sorry 8 7 56 so here numerator is 7 and denominator is what 11 okay so ratio will be 7 is to 11 so this is the answer of uh, number a ratio of males to that of females is what 7 is to 11 now number b uh, what males to that of total number of teachers so according to number question number b uh, we need to find the ratio of uh, ratio of means to that of total number of teachers. So we'll write here number. We first you write number A. From there, uh, I'll show you the number B. Okay. So. So here number B ratio of males that of uh, total number of teachers right so ratio of males what uh, 56 and total number of teacher 144 written here okay I have written already uh, so now female uh, first 56 will write in denominator uh, so numerator and denominator will write 144 if you cut by this uh, 8 then there will be 7 and if you cut this 144 by 7 uh, 144 by 8 then there will be 18 okay so numerator is what 7 and denominator is 18 so we will write 7 is to 18 so this is the answer of this question ratio of males to that of total teachers okay and then number c total number of teachers to that of females so this one done for you ratio of total number of teachers to that of females so here uh, 144 and denominator like 88 if you cut by uh, this one by 8 then there will 11 and in numerator if we cut by uh, 8 then there will be 18 okay sorry uh, yes there is uh, 18 is to 11 so this is the answer of this question okay hope you understood